Hey everyone, welcome to the Event on the Spot Workshop. I'm Jason. Today I'm here to show you what I made. So I have here a hydraulic press that I made. Uh, I've been wanting to make a press like this for a while. I've had some projects that I've wanted to do. And so I put some sketches together and came up with this. So I had a lot of uh, one by two box tubing left over from another project. So I designed a lot of my, a lot of the structure around that. So some of the things I included in my design or that I designed things around, uh, I did want a 12 by 12 plate. That means the, the pressing surface, uh, 12 inches by 12 inches. Um, I wanted a, a decent height. I wanted to be able to press uh, up to about six inches of material. Um, so I designed the structure so that it was evenly distributed around the plate, which uh, again, I used the box tubing. And with all my sketches uh, kind of laid out, I came up with a, a decent cut list. And so I uh, began to mark all my one by two box tubing and take, took them to the chop saw and started making my cross cuts. So once I got all the material cut, uh, I began to arrange them on the back side of my 12 inch by 12 inch quarter inch thick pressing surface. Now the layout uh, for this reinforcement is different for each of the two press plates, uh, but I'll explain that as I get further along. For now, once I know all the joints are tight, I take each plate to the table and begin to tack weld the tubing in place. I'm careful to work my way around with the welds uh, to not overheat one area, which might cause uh, warping. Now on the underside of this first plate, uh, the ram will press up from the center, so I added this quarter inch thick piece of two inch flat bar. Before I proceed, I want to make sure that my mating surfaces are nice and tight, that there's no warping going on. And I can see here that uh, both mating surfaces, plates, uh, are aligned very well. With the fixed plate upside down on the table, I can tack the side rails into place. And with these four side rails tacked onto this top plate, I set the traveling plate into place, uh, leaving a temporary spacer to help align the rails before I weld additional. And with the traveling plate in position, I can weld on my channel. And once the channels are welded to the sides, I added the third piece of channel in the middle, uh, and that actually gives me the correct spacing along the rails. And now with the press uh, sitting right side up, you can see the channel uh, makes for a great base to install my jack. And uh, with all the components in place, I go ahead and give this thing a dry run to make sure that my traveling plate uh, correctly slides up and makes contact with the fixed plate. So here's the unit completely assembled. Um, as you can see, I left the base small enough. I wanted to be able to mount this thing maybe to the edges of a bench top. So I haven't decided if I'm going to add additional support rails. To give you some idea of uh, the pressing power, I put a couple of uh, half inch elbows into the press to see how that would, uh, how it would handle. And you can see uh, they were flattened out quite nicely. You can see the structure of the upper plate held up well, and you got the side rails, which uh, seem to take a lot of force. Uh, and here's a close-up of the underside where the, the plate is. You can see the jack has a nice, good surface to press against. Obviously, there's many things that this press can accomplish. Uh, one of the things I wanted to try was uh, some embossing, so you can see how uh, I just used some chicken wire to, as an example. See how it would press into wood. 
in conjunction with uh, something like this dapping tool set. Uh, I can do jewelry making style stuff. Uh, I took this quarter, was able to press a nice semi round. So I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. So uh, I will try and have some projects uh, where I use this press. I'll try and put some videos up of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making the project and I look forward to using this uh, for several other projects I'm working on and uh, show you how I put it to good use. So uh, again, if you like this uh, and uh, other things that I have put on, uh, please subscribe and uh, again, thanks for watching.